Okay, I'll do my recruiting now because uh, nobody will want me anywhere near me afterwards. So I'm uh, the last remaining survivor of the Sofia Pearl Manga Group, and we're recruiting. Please come. So it's not uh, it's not Sofia here. It's the the other one. <laughs> So yeah, it's in uh, Southeast French, uh, which is why I have the funny accent when I uh, speak in the English. Um, so um, this talk is going to be about templating, because I ran into Sushi. Where is she now? Hi, Sushi. So she um, was uh, surveying uh, what kind of uh, template uh, systems people were using. And uh, so being the helpful character I am, I thought, well, that's the time to write a new one. So um, <laughs> by the way, who's uh, going to Sushi's talk uh, tomorrow? Uh, that one, yeah. Uh, so you all know what templating is, uh, uh, that sort of things. And now also raise your hand if you've already used one of those. So um, I had to find some kind of a distinguishing feature to write a new one. So what I uh, <coughs> chose was to focus on Turing completeness. You all know what that is. So are your uh, template systems Turing complete? Well, yeah, they, they kind of are, but you know why they are? Well, yeah, they can loop, and, uh, and you can always uh, fall back to Perl if really uh, everything all else fails. But I mean, there are many problems with that. It's, it's kind of weak. And also, uh, well, what was I going to say? Um, the identifiers are so long. I mean, they're, they're like uh, 8.4 characters average figure made up on the spot. That's... I don't really like that, so um, I'm an idealist person, uh, and I, I'm not in favor of hacks, quirks, or all that sort of thing. Uh, a templating system is something programmers must use, so we've really got to make sure the design is sound and uh, focused on Turing completeness. So I've researched a bit, and there's this great project by Urban Müller. So he's a Swiss-German. Uh, so he did this thing, he's called uh, Breinfuck. I suppose that's a um, Swiss German dialect for a uh, complete uh, awesome contraption of pure computing power. So he reduced the, the operating uh, set to these operators. So we've got a Turing machine tape and we're going left and right on it with the two operators at the top left. And we can do loops with the bra square brackets on the right, plus and minus to do uh, arithmetic and uh, general computation. And of course, input output on the bottom right. So there we have it. So in his original system, he kind of oversaw something pretty important. Anything that's not these characters in his system is a comment. What if instead of this, we took the characters that are not this and just output them? There we go, we've got a templating system. <laughs> so, what does it look like? Well, it's just the same kind of uh, code you're used to to use a, a system. So if we give it this text in input, what do we get in output? This one's easy, so try now. We get straight text back, yeah. Now we can loop, of course. So we increment the tape position three times, we get a three in there, and now what do we get? Something repeated three times. See how powerful this is? You're gonna drop your legacy systems in a minute after this. Uh, so we can... Uh, so the, the classic, uh, you're, you're not gonna ask for this one, this is the, the normal hello world, uh, of course. Um, and uh, so we, we still have input, right? Positional parameters, so anything you give to input, uh, as I showed you in the, the API. So what happens if I do this with an argument of this Perl string on the right? Well, obviously, uh, no, this one is wrong. Oh, this got copy-paste wrong. Sue me. Uh, <clears throat> string manipulation, so we can also iterate on individual characters, because this is for like kind of how to arrange, arrange, <coughs> enrich it a bit. So uh, obviously, this uh, loops over the input and adds equal signs everywhere. So we get this useful thing here. Uh, arrays, uh, this is Perl, we've got data structures. So uh, we give it an input, this array, so if, if you're not familiar with the syntax, it's just uh, an array of four strings, which are namely iterating on an array. And we're just outputting it, which drops the spaces. Try and do that in the others. Uh, so this is uh, like a military grade uh, encryption. Uh, <laughs> It's the ROT13 standard for those who know it. So we give it this, uh, <clears throat> this string here, and there we go. 
We decrypt it easily. So it's not total, it, well, it does work and uh, you can use it anytime. It's not on CPAN yet for reasons I'm ashamed to admit in public. And we have absolutely no time for a question. So thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.